Uh, hi everyone, I'm Ranjan. I run a company called as Entropic Technologies. Uh, we work in the space of HCI, which is primarily solving interaction challenges between human and machine. Uh, so uh, we, we have seen a lot of artificial intelligence stuff coming out all the while. The, the question that we have tried to answer is that, uh, can this communication between human and machine can be a lot more synergic? So can your smartphone actually pick your user emotions? And that's the larger problem that we are trying to solve that uh, can your smartphone be responsive enough to how you are feeling at a particular point in time. A specific problem statement that we have taken so far is in the consumer behavior modeling segment. Uh, so this is, this is a typical urban user at this point in time. You are probably stand out like you are traveling between two cities. You are stuck between two things. Uh, in fact, actually uh, human time span has gone down below the goldfish time span uh, post 2012. That's eight seconds. So uh, this is typically a scenario we are stuck in, particularly if there is anyone who is a sales guy, he knows that he's generally into this scenario. Uh, so so what, what I'm trying to stress is that in such a scenario, if you're bombarded with notifications, so you're trying to book a Ola or a Uber, and you're bombarded with random notification, it's very hard for you. Uh, some real stories around some asynchronous communication that keeps happening, uh, you, you are probably stuck in a right scenario and trying to book a cab and some notification suits in. So uh, what, what as a problem statement we are trying to uh, say is that users don't want to be bombarded in a situation when he doesn't uh, uh, want, want those messages or they don't require a product. Uh, the other side of the problem statement is this on the business scenario. Uh, we all have done consumer persona analysis. So we do what a consumer is and, and probably the days of consumer persona analysis have gone by. Uh, what we believe is that the time of context analysis also comes. So along with consumer persona, I think a con context persona is something that we are trying to bring on the table. So, so there are a few questions that we try to answer. What a user is doing at any particular point in time, uh, how he's feeling, and uh, where he is. So these are the three questions that we are trying to bring in a context and that's the kind of, uh, so, so around that we build a, a three technologies are there. So one is we called as emotion sense. Uh, this is a patent pending technologies. Uh, the, all the three are patent pending, pending technology. Out of that emotion primarily we are picking based on your swipe gestures. So in a session, the way you start swiping and, and we measure your uh, anxiety levels at different point in time. Uh, based on machine, alg uh, machine learning algorithm that we've built around emotion. Uh, and based on that, we provide a response to the businesses that can business know at any point in time in a session how you are feeling and try to prompt you towards a conversion based on that. We have two very clear metrics from the start of the session to the end of the session. Can I, can I measure what is the time of a decision making? So can I help a user, uh, can I help a business make the interaction in the way that uh, it can be uh, synchronous and businesses are able to convert more and more? Uh, second is if you're walking on the road, probably you don't want to be notified like heavily of a make my trip, some stuff. Uh, so, so we are bringing those contexts into picture as well. Yeah, so uh, technology wise, uh, we have our SDKs, you can plug it in, we provide responses, which gives in a real time what kind of emotion somebody is having, uh, which is two parts. One is balance, second is activation. So how, whether you're feeling good or bad, or what is the status intensity of that uh, particular emotion. This is uh, motion and gesture sense. Uh, this is something interesting. So all the technologies that we have built in, the first thing that we are trying to do is that connect these dots over a session as it progresses to know that whether this user is likely to just window shop and walk out of the apps, app experience or he is probably going to convert or what is his intent about. So this is, this is the use case that we are running with. Uh, that's called as intent prediction. Uh, this is a product overall summary features. So we have a dashboard where you can segment your user based on uh, what his intent is. Is he likely to convert? Is not likely to convert? Uh, uh, there you can also set a segmentation of context. Like you, can, you do a consumer persona analysis. Like that you can do a context persona analysis. Uh, apart from that, we have intelligent cluster. Again, a clustering of product and users. So let's say I may feel horrible about a particular dress. So it is not just about me as a user, but also about a particular uh, content. So it gives product reaction, it, it gives product clustering, it gives user clustering. Uh, we have intent prediction, which is a real-time API that you can ping and get response and build your solutions around it. 
conversational interface is something that you, you probably, these are actionable. So primarily once you know that how a user is feeling at any particular point in time, you probably would like to set one your post remaining. notifications. Yeah. One minute remaining. Yeah. So you would like to probably set your notifications based on that or probably you would like to set your UI dynamically changing based on what suits to the customer. So yeah, that's it. So pretty much we are, Chromo.io is the platform. Uh, you can sign up free. We are based out of Indranagar. We are a team of uh, 17 people. Uh, and we are a seed funded company uh, currently working in this space. Thank you.